Hey guys, how are you? So, why do web designers make less than web programmers? It comes down to four things. Very quickly, supply and demand. Essentially, there's not enough programmers to satisfy the demand for programmers out there. No, not all programming languages have huge demand, but generally speaking, that is the case. I have a difficulty finding good programmers Everybody has a difficulty finding good programmers. That's why in the U.S. there's this big political battle where big tech companies are looking to hire overseas programmers because they can't fill the positions. That's just a fact. So that's the number one reason why programmers, web programmers, get paid a lot more than web designers. It's that simple. So why is that the case? Point number two. Perceived difficulty of programming is out there. So there's this perception by the general public that there is a that it's hard to learn how to program. So there's less people doing it, less people trying. The reason that is, is because a lot of the courses out there are not the greatest. So find a good course, you'll be able to learn to program. Number three, there is a barrier to entry when it comes to programming. Unlike design, where you can jump into it pretty quickly, use a program like Dreamweaver or something, where you can drag images and position things, and you're starting to design a page. Now, page is probably not going to be very good, and I'll get into that later on, but nonetheless, there's, there's this perception that you can just get into it without having to do all the background work, all the foundation training that you, you have to do to learn how to program. Don't get me wrong, learning how to program is really not that difficult with the right material, but you still have to learn this stuff. So in the case of web programming, you have to learn about the three major languages of the web. That's HTML, CSS, that's JavaScript. You don't have to be a super expert at everything, but you have to get around that. Then you got to learn about the foundational structure of the web. Request response cycle, server versus servers versus client computers, HTTP, etc., etc., etc. So there is that barrier to entry to programming. It makes it, again, it makes it less likely that someone's going to want to learn how to program. So if people who actually take the initiative to learn how to program, they find themselves in a really, really good situation. And finally, Number four, the fourth reason why web programmers make more than web designers typically is because of the black box. For people who don't know programming, programming looks like this black box. It's this cryptic thing. It's this secret store of knowledge that's impenetrable. So as a result of that, they value it more. But design, they can see it, they can look at it. Maybe they worked with Word or Photoshop, and they figure, hey, it's just like that, you know, it's just design. There's an irony, there's an irony, an irony to that, by the way, in terms of building websites. That's all about user interface, UI, and something called UX, user experience, which is super important these days. So let me just cover the last two points. Number one, the big irony is that great UI and great UX designers, user interface, user experience designers, are actually very, very rare. And companies that know, people that know, they know that great UX designers are rare and they pay these people a lot of money. Now, being able to put together good web UI and UX is much more than just making a site look good. And it's a whole subject of another video. These people are exceedingly rare. And in my opinion, they're amongst the most important, if not the most important element in the development stack in terms of developing websites, web apps, and so on. Because as it stands today, web programming languages, servers, people's computers, smartphones are all very powerful, very fast. And in the old days, you had to write really super efficient code to make things work. These days, the languages are so optimized, the frameworks are so optimized, the servers are so powerful, the computers are so powerful. If you just write okay code, your app, your website, your web app will be able to power on a very wimpy server and for 99.9% .9, for 99 .9 of websites, you have more than enough. What separates the good apps from not so good apps is comes down to UX and UI, besides the general subject matter of the site it's, of itself, right? So if you have a, an app that's boring or you have a game that's boring, it doesn't matter how good the programming is behind the scenes, doesn't matter how good the UI and UX is, is behind the scenes, the game's boring, the game's boring, the game is boring. But that being said, all things being equal, what really separates the great successful websites and web apps from the not so successful, it's UI, UX. 
and um, any experienced developer will tell you that people who are actually out there in the real world building things. So for example, one of my former employees, one of the guys I mentored up, he now is a CTO of a company and they've raised millions of dollars. And we were just talking about this a few weeks ago, how the challenge in developing a great app is really in the subject matter of the app, UI, UX. The programming, as long as it's decent programming, it's gonna be fine 99% of the time. Anyway, so there you go. Those are the four reasons why web designers typically make less than web programmers. Supply and demand, which uh, means shortage of developers. Why? Because learning to code is perceived as difficult. There's a barrier to entry. You can't just jump into coding in, in you know, one hour and be able to do things. You have to go through the foundations. Again, good courses. You'll be able to learn this very quickly. Quicker than what most people would think. But you gotta find those good courses, good teacher. And then finally, you got the black box syndrome, if you will, meaning people look at coding, look at programming, and it's like it's such a mysterious thing that they perceive it to be super hard. They perceive it to be uh, super uh, difficult. And it isn't really, as I just said. And I hope that helps. Bye-bye.